Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome to Tales of Graces. We are in the Unchoden Snowfield. We're about to hit the uh, Fodra arc, which is chapter, we're in chapter 6, I think? So we're getting fairly close to the end of the main arc. Not close enough to finish before Persona 3, but we're going to be so close. Again, we have the main arc, but then the Lineage and Legacies is the future arc, which is added for the PS3 version of Graces, which is a good, like... I don't know, 15 to 20 hours, depending on how you play. For us, it might be like 15 hours to 20, anywhere from there. Um, so, you know. Definitely, like, with the main arc, though, we're fairly close to the end. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna hit a Fodra. I love the Fodra part of the game. Like, I love this game, but the Fodra part is pretty great. So, uh, we're gonna start with the skit, Will to Persevere. Sophie's condition doesn't oh you know what I have to change the audio good thing I remembered now because last time I also I think two hours in I forgot to change the audio from my Ark the Lad 3 setup there we oh my word that is so I'm sorry if I blasted any of your ears I, I blasted it to like the loudest setting by accident <laughs> my mistake there we go 19.1 decibels Take two, let's watch the skit. Sophie's condition doesn't seem to be improving. Maybe we should take her to a doctor again. No way. If the Amarsians couldn't help her, I doubt some sawbones can either. The only way to save Sophie is to take her to Fodra. Yes, I agree. I'm sorry, everyone, for causing you so much trouble. But I want to stay with you. Oh, I'm so sorry. We know, Sophie. But don't overdo it, okay? If it's too hard for you, we'll go back together. Yeah, dude, yeah. I think we got the discovery already, so we are moving on, just going to the ruins here. Discovery 61, it should be? Yeah, I just dropped flowers. Genius, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Stick around, watch you suffer until my movie in the theater starts. Nice, nice. What movie are you gonna see? I have not been to the theaters in a hot minute. Last time, actually, no, I went. Um, I went to see Avatar: Way of Water in December. The next movie I'm waiting for is the Ant Man movie that's coming out. I think it comes out next month, actually. So I'm looking forward to that. I think I already did dualizing stuff, huh? All right. Well. We're just heading into the ruins, I think. Oh, the Puss in Boots movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard... I've heard people talk about it. I've been hearing things about it. Oh, we have another skit already? I wonder if my sister is still mad. Pascal, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Yeah? Just because Fourier is angry, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did something wrong. Wait, are you consoling me? Do not misunderstand my intentions. I simply wanted to point it out. Thanks for trying to console me. I am not consoling you. You are totally consoling me. All right, fine. I am done talking. Okay. Uh, I need to check the side quest off we did. Dude, you know what? We actually don't have any side quests for a hot minute, so it's just main story cruising. Also, I just remembered we never went back to beat Bryce. <laughs> we have to go do that. We'll probably do that after the Snow Shroud Ruins here, before heading to Fodra. It might make Bryce a little easy, but at this point there's nothing that can be done. I just completely forgot about Bryce. Like, I remember, like, oh, I can probably beat him, but I'll come back later. I'm still playing as Sherry. No, I'm playing as Hubert. Do I want to keep walking as Sherry? You know what? I do want to take the Vesperia costumes off. I kind of want to hear Fendel's battle music a little bit before we leave. So, put everyone back in their default outfits. 
Because I wanna I wanna cherish the Fendel music before we head to Fodra. Hello. Oh, these archer, these bow enemies. We wanna like get them out. It can be very annoying with stun lock. Oh, do you mind? Oh, goodbye. Hello again. That would have been perfect if you hadn't botched to finish. Aw, flattery will get you nowhere. You insufferable woman. <laughs> insufferable woman. Never gets old. But yeah, I've been hearing about the Puss in Boots movie. Not sure if I'm gonna go see it, though. I don't think I've- I haven't seen any of the others, so I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm definitely, um, I'm waiting for the Ant-Man movie next month. I'm really looking forward to that because I'm a big Marvel fan. It's like that, it's that stream where occasionally Nova, like, reminds people that, oh yeah, he likes no Marvel. Because I rarely talk about it, but I do really love the MCU movies. So, you know. Looking forward to that next month. Other than that, not really anything else I'm looking forward to, movie-wise. Yo, finally get Virtuous Radiance. That's perfect. You can get the beautiful hipster done. That'll get you max CC. And you can finish Bold as Brass. And then for Sophie... Let's work on... Demolition Drive Adept. Why not? Bum, 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 bum. Fine. Tiger's Essence. What kind of cologne is that for Malik? There we go. I'm excited for today's stream. I really love the Fodra part of the game. Although, in actuality, this is my second favorite game of all time, so I really like most of the parts of this game. There's very little, like, story moments where I'm, like, rolling my eyes. Goodbye. Good job, Sharia. Oh, and you got the Virtuous Radiance uh, Master because you already had that art. Or you just got the art now. Hit me up with the Book of Restriction. These enemies should be doable with the Restriction Book. We're also over 500 elf, which is Pog. Have you ever gone to a movie and left disappointed? Yes, I have. Um, what's an example? Um, hmm. Oh, um, I guess Venom 2. The first Venom was, like, good. It was a good movie. Not my favorite, like, Marvel thing, but it was good. The second Venom was pretty bad. <laughs> not that good. Also, I think Morbius is what it was called. Actually, like, also not a good movie, but I also had, like, no expectations for that. Or probably some other times. I'm trying to think, most of the movies I've watched, like, I either didn't have expectations, or, like... Or, like, I just got the expectations I expected, you know? I mean, especially with Marvel. Marvel, like, never lets me down. Nice. There are probably some other examples, but I can't really think of any. There might be some others. I don't really go to the movies super often. Like, I, I watch movies, like, but not all that much. There are not many times I go to the theaters. I stun. Oh, nice. The, uh, the thing cooked. I don't know how to pronounce that food. I've never known my entire life. This may sting. Oh, 
Hubert, Hubert, Hubert. Asbel, what were you doing there? You just stayed guarding. You weren't getting me up. I hated that. I gotta fix everyone's titles again, too. I, think I had you at Virtuous Radiance. Oh, yeah, Doctor Strange. I liked that movie. It wasn't like. It kind of didn't meet the expectations that I was expecting of it. I wouldn't say I was disappointed. I had. I wasn't like, oh. This is gonna be the best movie ever. I didn't have like the highest expectations for it, but um, it didn't really. I had like mild expectations for it. It didn't really meet those, but it was still a solid movie. IMO it wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still solid, I think. But I wouldn't say I was disappointed with that. I think I think like overall, I enjoyed the movie. Oh, I have to watch this skit again. Trying to think, I really don't go to the movies all that much. Other than Marvel, I'm trying to think of other movies I've seen because all my- Oh, I have to take the Vesperia costumes off again. I'm trying to think of examples that aren't Marvel where I like go to the movies. I just can't, to be honest. There are probably some others, I just can't think of them. Goodbye. Uh, you performed reasonably as well. Okay, let me take these Vesperia costumes off. Oh yeah, I saw the Sonic movies. Definitely. Uh, the son the first Sonic movie was like pretty good. The second one was like also good. I did like the Sonic movies I saw. I did not mean to do that. Bum, 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 bum. Everyone stay on your game. Hello. Shocking light. Shocking light. That was not what I meant to do. Slice. Alphys. Flare shot. You waste my time. It's over. Why they suddenly like get super armor like that? That's graces for ya. I'm ready to try the restriction book again. Even though I'm probably gonna regret it. I just like hearing more of the music. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, I am excited for Persona 3 coming out this Thursday. I cannot wait. I haven't played a Persona game since I did 4 on the channel, which was back in like 20 last year, I think? 2022? Sometime in 2022. I don't know exactly when, but I haven't played a Persona game since then, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I didn't get the Mystic on there? There we go. Also, I haven't finished Persona 3, so Persona 3 is a new experience for me, so that'll be fun. That's a good job, team. Chest right there. This is 
is probably the right way, so I'm gonna see what's over here first. Mithril tunic. Who can I put that on? Tunic made by carefully weaving a metal unknown to Athenia. Hmm, so it's like on Fodra or something. Interesting. Maybe put it on like Pascal or Sophie is my idea. I'm thinking Sophie. I do like that you could still dualize Sophie's stuff and equip her even though she's like not able to fight. It's really nice. Oh no. That would have been close. Those harpies would have like stun locked me. <laughs> but you like that. Oh, goodbye. A stupid sapphire weapon. Out of my sight? Cheria, you need to get be getting people up, girl. The harpy is so slow. Okay, I see the problem. You make the B arts? Good. Please die? Hello, sir? Or ma'am, whatever harpies are considered? Alright, goodbye, Sharia. Man, that's just fun. I love getting stunned and then just getting damaged again. I hate these archer enemies. The sapphire weapons blow. Hope Persona moves away from the mechanic where protagonist dies. Yeah, yeah. We can we can dream. I hate getting stunned and then just dying. My word. Bum 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 bum. gotten all that much game overs in this playthrough i kind of just started coming now like i said the difficulty in graces does pick up like the early game is like pretty not super easy but pretty easy other than bosses strata kind of picks up and then fendel really picks up in difficulty some of the fendel enemies get really annoying to deal with Get a mass bell. Sometimes I can't help but regret the past. This is no, this is the chest. I keep forgetting. We will survive. Yeah, I'm playing on chaos, that's true, but also. In the early game, the enemy mobs on Chaos Mode were, like, not easy per se, but they weren't all that difficult. Like, the early game, I'm talking about Chaos difficulty, obviously, because I've been playing this whole thing on Chaos. Like, I'm not talking about, like, oh, normal's probably a different experience, obviously. But, like, I haven't changed the difficulty once, so... I'm talking as if, like, you know, Chaos Mode, like, I'm talking from the Chaos Mode perspective. But, like, the early game is, like, easy in the enemy battles. Not super laughably easy, but, like, not hard. But then you have an occasional boss that are that is hard. And then Strata, like, kind of picks up. And then Fendel just gets difficult. Because some of the enemies they add in Fendel are on the annoying side. Mostly those bow enemies. Not this. We will survive! 
which I think graces is a pretty like balanced game on normal difficulties it's got a bad boss and hard boss here and there but overall I think its difficulty curve is solid plus I am restricting myself by using the book of restriction the book of restriction makes my defense lower but it also makes the fights last longer. So there's that too. So there are a couple reasons why this playthrough has challenged me. Overall though, it's been kind of smooth sailing. I'm kind of shocked I didn't have to change the difficulty for like Kurt or something because Kurt is like one of the worst bosses in the game. Not the worst because there's another boss I'm thinking of that is worse than Kurt. You all know the one. I hope at least. Ooh, no, get the rise first. That's pretty good. And then just, uh, I don't know, finish first day to death, I guess. Everyone else is still working on their current title. We will survive this flare shot. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go. Combo. Sometimes I can't see the value in fighting. Hubert. Oh, the exceed. Let's go. Cedric's the first real big difficulty spike. Yeah, I agree with that. Queen Slime is hard, but I wouldn't call Queen Slime a difficulty spike. I think Cedric is a difficulty spike, definitely. Queen Slime used to give me trouble in, like, my first playthrough of Graces. Not to say she's easy now, but, like, Queen Slime isn't even, like, up there for, like, the hardest boss in the game. It is a good, like, wake-up call for, like, oh, yeah, bosses are gonna be no joke. It's a good introductory boss, I guess you would say. Even though it's not like the first boss in the game, that's the Helm Crusher from Fendel. I stunned that Harpy, let's go. No one can stand before my blade. I really love Graces. Even on like higher difficulties, I actually do like the game. Again, I think there's like two or three bosses on Chaos Mode that blow. Overall though, I like Graces in its highest difficulty. I think it's like fairly balanced. Goodbye. We could divine saber. That should buy us some time at least, right? Astrid, the RRT stay.